Hey guys, how's it going? So I did come across the video I was telling you guys about, the one by Amanda Pants. And it's the one I was stating how uh, KJ had crashed, crashed, crashed the live stream in here and was just, she wasn't needed. <laughs> but she did crash it and I wanted to say that Amanda Pants had handled that with, honestly, she did amazing. She handled it with Grace. She handled it with a crystal ball amazingly. And she, and of course, KJ was rude as hell and it was just like, get out of there, Katie. So this live, Amanda Pants did, is about inconsistency, inconsistencies without a crystal ball, Katie Joy has said in regards to agencies. I have questions. Amanda Pants is in, um, she works in with CPS. I'm not sure what exactly her job title is, but she knows all about it. Like, she knows she works in that um, category. So she does know. And that's why she had questions and that's why she wanted to discuss it on a live with, you know, her subs. She's entitled to do that. I mean, we all are, right? And KJ decides to crash it. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you. I didn't want to play the whole thing because um, I'm just going to show you where KJ came in. So it came in about, she came in about 140, about that. Um, I'm actually wondering. I haven't seen or heard from Amanda Pants since around this time last year. Um, if any of you guys watching know what happened, uh, let me know. I love her. She was a sweetheart. I wonder what happened because she hasn't posted anything. Uh, last thing she posted was nine months ago. Just wondering if anybody knows what happened to her. Did she just like I don't I have no idea. Like she still has um, three thousand and nine hundred and thirty subscribers, but she hasn't posted in nine months. It's very strange. All right, let's play this and then watch the chat. You'll see KJ come in. It's ridiculous. You would want to be a CPS worker. You can't imagine the level of abuse they themselves experience from that people. Um, you know, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's kind of known going into that field that if you can't handle people like getting in your face and yelling at you and calling you every word under the sun, you probably should not do this. Um, if you're not comfortable confronting people or questioning people in uh, manners that aren't normal because the kind of conversations we have are not everyday conversations. They're really not. Uh, it's not a career field for you. And you really have, in my opinion, to be a good investigator, you really have to have the passion for it. Um, and I mean, I know people with different backgrounds that did a phenomenal job. It really just depends on where your passion is. So she is a caseworker. Oh, where to go? Yeah, she's a caseworker. Unfounded doesn't equal false you believe. It depends on the state uh, and their different levels of closing. Typically there's three. There's typically, like in Florida, there's no indicator, which means that there was nothing found in the family for concern for abuse, neglect, or abandonment. Then there was, um, oh man, did I just forget them? <laughs> no indicator. I don't remember the middle one. We'll say some indicator that used to be it, but I know the verbiage changed. Uh, no indicator, some indicator, meaning there's some factuality to concerns going on in the family, but it doesn't rise to the level where intervention is needed. And then there's verified, meaning yes, there's abuse, neglect, or abandonment occurring. I don't know if I could work in that field. I'd want to save every single child. And if I couldn't. I mean, there's always going to be those situations that law enforcement respond to where they're going to have to take a child into custody. They have the ability to get a court order signed. Um, and they have the ability to have a child in custody. Um, like I, the hypothetical I used earlier is there's a one parent in a car and a child in the car. Mom gets arrested. They're not going to leave a two year old on the side of the road. So clearly they're going to either stay there with the child or they're going to take the child back to the station. Sometimes they'll take the child to the closest BCF. BCF Sorry, he, my dog's barking because there's someone in the yard and they keep running back and forth trying to piss him off. There's only that one kid that does that. Little shit. <laughs> yeah, CPS takes custody away from a parent. What happens if they have another child with CPS? Um, so one, it takes a lot for custody it takes a lot for parents to not have custody anymore because even when children are removed, they still have their parental rights to their child. They may not have active custody of them, but they still have parental rights. That's when they're typically given a year, depends on the state, but in Florida, you're given a year to work with the ongoing services and work a case plan to better the family situation for whatever the cause of harm was to the child. Um, that put the child in imminent danger. If new children are born, that does not mean CPS is automatically going to get involved. Typically, when you see stuff like that happen, and I know this is kind of stereotyping, but it's the truth, is um, with parents who abuse substances. Because every 
doctor when a baby is born does a meconium test um, or they do they try to always do meconium but sometimes they can't get the meconium so they'll do a urine test if a child comes back positive um, when they're born it means the mother was using within the last trimester and that's, that's disgusting can you imagine using while your child's growing inside of you like being an alcoholic or an addict oh my god those poor babies concerning you're already not being a protective parent yeah using illicit drugs uh, while you're pregnant so that in those kind of situations yes cps is always involved okay that's good to know your experience in the system absolutely my childhood is why i got the degree i did and yeah she was involved with cps and foster homes when she was little so this is when she explains that yes she in fact is doing this for a living because of what happened to her in her childhood work in that field that is ultimately the only job i really want to want to work that is where my passion lies i like working with the community and helping to any degree but my passion is with protection it's with child protection that's also where I thrive the best because I would work 60, 70, 80 hour, 80 hour weeks and be up like that, ready to go. Here we go, guys. 24 hour on Look at this. Shifts. Here we go. Here's mouth. This is beyond disturbing. She just comes in here mouth and, and it's ridiculous because this girl is a sweetheart. She didn't say or do anything wrong. I'm telling you, she didn't. And then this idiot comes in. <laughs> And I was fine. Yeah, I saw that she was reporting on how much people were getting in their PPP loans. Like, look at who the hell are you, KJ? If you have questions, why don't you send me a DM? <laughs> I don't know. I also, whenever, this is just a side note, whenever I was looking at, uh, I tried to find the original article that she wrote that got comes another, another one. article written where she was interviewed in relation to <laughs> look, the look at and Sue's like, uh oh, lol, this idiot. I cannot believe you are monetizing my son. <laughs> wow. When you criticize me of talking about other children. <laughs> JJ, I love her too. Hey, Katie, stop talking about your finances. <laughs> but it was a different website and it kind of listed all of not all but a lot of her writings and a lot of them had to deal with like look at this i cannot believe you would do this <laughs> wow she was discussing uh what was going on with K kj getting cps called on her all the time and how she always if that was the truth why it wasn't investigated or how if it is investigated where's the proof and yada yada, yada. that's all she was saying that's all she was saying. And she knows what she's talking about. She's in the field. KJ just comes in here with a big fat mouth thinking she's a know-it-all and tries to tell her how to run her channel. And Manda literally handles it with grace. I was so proud of her. Kind of bad parents. So I don't know if she feels she needs an outlet. I, I, I don't know. You have the my dams. Oh, my God. Look at this shit. Hey, Amanda, stop ignoring me. She hasn't got to your comment yet, KJ, so shut the F up. Workers didn't necessarily fail me. The whole system did. I mean, you're not, as a child, you're not. Even, That's sad. Even today, I know you hear of kids aging out of the system and being in foster care for a long time. You're not supposed to be in foster care for a long time. No. A few years happens here or there. I was in foster care for first 10 years of my life that's not like sue says here she says at without a crystal ball she's being very non-biased you're picking on the wrong creator and she says stop talking about my son she's not even talking about him so stop and then tina's like she's correcting your false claims then this one says there aren't questions here for you <laughs> like who does this isn't that disgusting i'm so glad i found this video what's happened You're sick, KJ.
This one says, she's behind in the chat, not ignoring. Jay's like, why? Manda has right. You put it out in the public. Stop with your don't talk about my son bullshit. <laughs> she's absolutely right, because that's what KJ does. And then she comes after you for it. It's ridiculous. I think she might be starting to read them now. Oh, hi, Kate. <laughs> she, <laughs> you know, I it's it would be it's awesome to have JJ in your corner. Yeah, she's got the mouth on her. She really does. But if you mess with someone she cares about, she's right there for you. Like, I mean, her and Selfie Queen Cindy have the most special relationship I've ever seen. They truly, genuinely love each other. I mean, they are besties. It's great to see. You don't see that a lot. You know, girls are assholes. Than this, the whole media as a whole is reporting on PPP loans. <laughs> really? Hey, I wasn't ignoring you. I'm just not up to the chat. <laughs> I can't send you a DM. You have me blocked. You blocked me a while ago. You see that shit? You have me blocked. How am I going to send you one? This girl's like, you are not anyone to say what's disgusting. <laughs> and this is a live stream it's not monetized yet so sorry exactly she's not monetizing your son moron and then this one's like um she is farther up the stream the way you were talking did you listen before katie um kj says i cannot believe you are live talking about agencies i had cps at my home it always goes back to kj every like wow No one is talking about your son. She's talking about how CPS works. Exactly, Miss Cassandra. Knock it off, Katie. I'm not going to have a conversation with you on live stream. <laughs> I'm absolutely not. You're welcome to keep talking. These are my opinions from my experience. Just talking about stuff that you have put out there publicly. So She handled it amazingly. Look at this. How dare you talk about whether CPS was at my house? Gross that you were monetizing this. Like, shut up. She's live. She hasn't done fuck all yet, Katie. Shut up. If you want to correct anything, you can reach out to me in my DMs. Yeah, seeing how she's blocked from you, Katie. My fellow citizens, tonight it is with great urgency that I ask you to download the State of Payroll ebook from Ben. She, this one says here, um, at Without a Crystal Ball, with all due respect, most of the conversation was on general CPS laws across the county, country. See how her chat, Amanda says, her chat is actually really nice. They're saying like, you know, they're, they're, they're not bullying. They're not attacking. They're just literally asking questions and, and just telling her what's up. And then KJ just goes on and on and on and on. It's disgusting. I haven't gotten any super chats. <laughs> Clearly you're just coming in and that's fine. You're more than welcome to talk here, but I, I'm not even talking really about your son. I'm talking about the situation in general. And you might want to go back and watch this whole thing because I actually defend you quite a bit. Right. And I never have said that you lied. So, again, I think you might want to actually watch the full stream before you want to come in here and say that I'm talking badly about you because really what I'm talking about is how CPS works. And maybe where some inconsistencies lie with some of the things you said, but I never called you a liar. Exactly. Yeah. Let's... You are super mature. <laughs> you are very, very mature. This is what she's referring to. You can get super chats from this. Are you jealous? I mean, what the hell? Katie, get a hold of yourself. Uh, you put out the info. Laugh my ass off. She said it herself. Exactly. So I am not understanding this one. 
Holy, the entitlement is ridiculous. It's okay, guys. Don't don't worry about it. She can continue to talk. She doesn't even block her. Okay. If you don't think there were any inconsistencies, then that's fine. Like I said, I'm not going to have a conversation with you over live stream. It's very unprofessional. Right? I have not made tons of money dragging you. Oh, my God. Like I said, I'm not going to continue to engage with you. Oh, Katie, like how you don't talk about YouTubers? Hypocrite. This one says, you are immature. Grow up, lady. Please be respectful. Chat. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> this one's slapping her forehead. Then look at this. I know there were no inconsistencies. There was no abuse found. Like, she's so dense. Yes. Man Pants has always said that. Not always. She said, well, yeah, always in this whole video. So I don't know what the hell, where she gets off being rude like that. <laughs> this one. Anyways, back to the topic. <laughs> in my live stream I'm trying to be polite and not hide you or block you because I don't feel that that is necessary but I'm not going to continue to have this conversation with you on a live you are welcome to reach out to me if you want I can't reach out to you because you're blocked you're you blocked me <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? She's yelling at KJ's yelling at her and telling her, you have my DMs. You need to message me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, she's blocked. The whole world's blocked, KJ. This person says she did defend you and has said many times your son is off limits and said people need to leave your son out of the attacks. And I wholeheartedly agree. And so does every single, well, every single other person on the internet. Listen, no, it's not. Your channel became monetized off my name. Like, holy frig. This one says, why is it even about money, Katie? More false claims. Exactly. She needs to back off. I'm wondering if that's why she Amanda left. My oh. channel did not become monetized off of <laughs> Just so you know. Wow. My channel was monetized from Micah Stauffer. I had just barely started to talk about you when my channel was monetized. Without a crystal ball, grow up. Then she says, if my son is off limits, why are you talking about CPS suggesting there are lives? Huh? I have an email address. Oh, please, you are reaching without a crystal ball. This one says, she doesn't doubt that CPS was at your home, dot, dot, at all. My God, this sounds like somebody is drunk. I think she's drunk. She's miserable. And she just loves to mouse. Katie, this is the last thing I'm going to say is I also have an email address. I also have DMs. You clearly need to stop <laughs> and go back and watch what I said because a lot of what I have said has actually been defending you and how you aren't a bad parent and how I don't think anything has been going on in your house. I was questioning little bits and pieces of things that you have said over the I will link this video in the description of my video so you can watch it and uh, watch the whole entire thing. Um, I think it should be watched. She's good. Amanda Pants has a lot of good um, answers to a lot of people's questions about CPS and how it works and stuff like that. Um, she's very knowledgeable in that department. <laughs> Don't let her dominate your time, Amanda. Then, of course, she says, you messaged me when you were just starting asking me how to improve your channel. What? Listen to this. Katie, go home. You're drunk. <laughs> Mana can talk about any topic. This is her channel. Mouse says, why can't I engage in this chat? You are, idiot. Hello? Without a crystal ball. Without a crystal ball. Without a crystal ball. Without a crystal ball. Like, are you kidding me? Pretty sure everyone has email. Otherwise, we couldn't make accounts. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. My God, she's ridiculous. The last few months, that could be contradictory. And I am clearing those up for people who may have concerns and clearing up any misinformation that could have been found in the inconsistencies that I saw. If you want to know what those particular inconsistencies are, you can either watch this back or you can reach out to me. Listen to this. You are not planting doubts about inconsistencies. 
<laughs> this one says, KJ, the reason people talk about you is because of the way you talk and treat complete strangers. Your behavior towards people who have never said anything to you is appalling. This one says, you don't get to call people names and get and get respect. No. 100% agree. I am not going to reach out to you. You are somebody with a hundred and what, 40,000 subscribers coming to a channel with 2,300 subscribers trying to tell me I'm doing something I'm not on my channel. This is what you say you don't like people Listen, doing to you. I am honest though. I've been clear with my audience. What the fuck is she talking about? This is how messed up she is. As a matter of fact, everyone in this chat said we don't believe he's abused. You're constantly inconsistent. Katie, don't talk about my kid. Also, Katie, let me tell you private info about my kid. <laughs> so I'm pointing out the, the hypocrisy with that right now with you. You are being a hypocrite in how you are handling yourself right yep. now. So you can leave. And if you don't leave, I will hide you from my channel. And if you want to discuss this. No, I'm not, she says. You are welcome to. Look at it. She's like, no, I'm not. Um, yeah, you are. Without a crystal ball, Katie, you really need to listen to the feed. She didn't push issues with your family. This one's laughing at her. This one says she's talking about CPS in general. In her own experience, for the most part, it's not all about money. This one says, now she says I have no issues. Oh my God. Inconsistencies in the process. Yes. Not how you parent your son. He's like, bye, Katie. <laughs> Does anybody else have any other questions? I'm so glad she got a super chat. Um, JJ's like, you give no one any grace in your chats unless they kiss your butt. And she's a hundred percent correct. This is awesome. So word, word puzzler specialist gave her four ninety nine and says, since K JK suggest JK, since KJ suggested it, <laughs> this one says you have many issues, Katie. This one says I'm welcome to be here. Really? Like who <laughs> actually, there are more people in this chat in the middle of the day than others have at night. This is crazy. See what she tried to bully you? The chat in Manda Pants? You are absolutely welcome to be here, and I'm allowing you to be here, but I'm not going to allow you to come in here and tell me how I can run my channel. Exactly. That's not how things work. You don't want people telling you how to run your channel. I don't want people telling me how to run mine. Yep. Half of what I've said has actually been in defense of you, but you just assume mm -hmm. that I'm talking negatively about you. And I'm not. Um, I can't wait for Salty to refile in Minnesota. And that's the thing. Salty never did. We were so hoping. Oh, my God. Mod me so I can do it, please. That meaning blocker. <laughs> Katie, you really should watch this whole thing before getting angry. And she's even defended you in part of it. This one says, thanks for talking about this. Hello, Manda Pants. Mad respect for you always. Yep. Manda Pants, you're doing great. Mouth says, I didn't say anything. Are you, is she retarded? Sorry, I know a lot of people don't like that word. My bad. KG's about to spend a lot more money on lawyers and the idiot Brown. More smiles. Be respectful or you'll be timed out. Uh, Claire with the backup. And a lot of people are just smiling about it. It's just ridiculous. Exactly, Everybody it's not her in house. This chat can see what you're saying and how you have antagonized and said that I'm gross. Yep. And said that I'm making money off of this, which I'm not. People are now super chatting me to prove you wrong. Yep. Because you're coming in here with a larger platform doing what you say you hate people doing to you. I'm not a troll, sweetheart. I'm not one. I love that part too. I said, Why are you planning doubt about my life? Wow. She did defend you. You just haven't listened to it all. Jay says, Katie, you're welcome here, but too damn bad if you don't like what we are saying. <laughs> uh, she favored you, Katie. Go super chats. I think it would be good to wrap things up, Manda Pants. She has ears and will not hear. KJ, you lie. One of your trolls. I haven't talked about you in months. So you can leave my channel 
or you can yes. be respectful in being here. She got another one from Kiki. This one says, you can be here. If you are unhappy, that's on you. You see clearly your life, KJ, from your own videos. Thank you for the super chats. Now that Katie suggested it, read the room without a crystal ball. Kiki's like, love you, Amanda. I don't have trolls. Uh, what? Is she for real? I, she says she doesn't have trolls. Oh, uh, doesn't she on a daily basis, even to this day, bitch about these trolls? Wow. Like that, she's insane. There's something wrong upstairs there. She had a lot of screws loose. There's no light bulb on, on stairs either. I appreciate all of you guys sending me super chats. You really don't need to. If you were doing it just to prove a point, feel free to like take it back. No, they would never do that. Everyone loves you. I don't have trolls. This one says, um, I hope you keep the same mentality with your chat then and don't block and hide everyone who you call trolls. Stop picking up people. I'm being respectful. Is she, she's brain dead. This one said she didn't. She's talking about the process because she knows CPS without a crystal ball. To be fair, you discuss it on your channel. People are going to commentate on what you say. 100%. You are being respectful to a degree. You came into my chat and called Hot. me gross. You came into my chat insinuating <clears throat> I was talking about your son. When in actuality, I haven't talked about your son specifically at all. I've right? talked about the situation of CPS. Oh my God, here we go. I know CPS too. Oh, I bet. Katie, you are a troll. CPS closed the case. God, without a crystal ball has some nerve. She drags people nonstop, but don't drag her at all or she has a problem. This one says, uh, without a crystal ball, if you're telling the truth, why does it matter if others doubt you? Nothing but your family matters, not what people like me think. Without a crystal ball, you are your own troll, KJ. If that's respectful, you need further education on the matter. I agree. Yes. That is it. That is it. Yep. If you maybe weren't reactionary and didn't just come on here assuming I was talking shit about you, this wouldn't be going on right now. Like, seriously. Oh, well, yes, again with the super chat. Katie is a cooper. <laughs> this one says, why are you so jealous, KJ? How much have you made off the Duggars? Yeah, right? People should be asking her that. Are you gatekeeping, CPS? <laughs> Dottie Morgan, hey, good to see you. I don't even see Dottie in there. Oh, uh, this one gave 10 bucks. Not sure she can be respectful. Katie, she was a CPS worker. Amanda, she knows the system better than you. You are talking over the chat and railroaded the live. Absolutely. Effing Lutely. I would just be blocking her right now. See ya. I mean, I'm giving her the opportunity to be here and be respectful in a chat. And she's I not. I am going to give her that opportunity because her... She deserves it just like I would deserve it anywhere that I went. Oh my God, she is relentless. Holy crap. Then why are you here, Katie? Shoo, like the gnat that you are. <laughs> then listen to her. I know what happened in my house. Well, I hope so, but it sounds to me like you don't. Someone is looking stupid right about now. I never called police on a woman. What the hell is she talking about? Like, she is effed up in the head. Katie does not know the meaning of respectful shake my head. She made a video months ago saying she was going to stop making content about you because it was too much. And she did today defend you about you and your son and people calling and doing false repo. Exactly. And Amanda did stop talking about her because it was too much. Katie's re Sorry, I almost said it again. KJ's too much. Way too much. I didn't say you called police on a woman. I See? Said you talked to somebody about how you got something involved. Isn't that ridiculous? Get off YouTube if you don't want to, if you don't want to be content. Your choice, your consequences. I agree. 
I completely agree. Like sometimes people say things about me that I don't like, but I put myself out there. I have to deal with it, right? Reports on you and how that, sorry, that was someone else. The Daily Beast knew I was not part of those people. I still don't know what she's talking about. And clearly no one else does. Like she's off her rocker. This one says reports on you and how they needed to stop without a crystal ball. They wouldn't ask your son if daddy hit him. Hello. All of a sudden, KJ knows more than someone who's worked with CPS. It's how it always is. She seems to, she's a know-it-all. Normally, we would time out anyone that called someone here gross. So you are getting more leniency. Be respectful. This one says, at JJ, burn. <laughs> All right. So I am not going to address. I would neither. Katie, this is me saying I'm not going to address you as far as any kind of conversation in my channel and what I'm doing here. If you want to be polite and engage in the chat, that's fine. I don't mind. If you start to be rude to myself or other people. Way to go, Amanda. Then KJ says someone in chat just said that. I didn't see any of that. Did you guys? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't see any of that. Amanda Pants, you have always been fair. That's why I'm a sub. Same. I miss her. I do. I need to find out what happened. I want her back. You might want to actually watch your own videos as to what you admit to. I 100% agree, Tina. Absolutely. People, I will kick you from my chat. <laughs> um, if you want to talk to me about this video, please watch it. And then you are welcome to reach out to me because I don't have you blocked. I've never had you blocked. I'm not adding you to the video. I'm not. What the hell happened? Oh, commercial. I was a designer, animator, and artist for my group. Doing my channel. Listen to this crap. How about you add me to the video? Like, who the hell does she think she is? Wow. This one says she's part of the group that decided to call the police. Uh, I can't stand her. She blocks people right away. So too bad. She needs to hear. I agree, JJ. Hi, everyone in chat. Hey, Lily. Oh, sorry. My bad. It's weird. I'm not seeing Donnie Morgan at all. I don't see her name. Well, maybe because she's gone now. All right. Oops the way that other creators do their channel. I'm not having you come in here and bombard me and try and pressure me. If you want to DM me or email me, whatever you're comfortable with, and if you want us to sit on a live stream together and have this open conversation, we can. No, I did not call the police. Then this Caroline's like, hell no. Manny Pants, you owe them no explanations. You are always fair. Truth hurts. Yep. I'm not against that. I don't hate you. I have said that many times. If anything, I have come to that for you quite a bit lately. Um, you know, I'm not on any kind of hate train. I know you may feel that way. I really do understand that. And I have sympathized with you and empathized with that fact quite a bit. I think KJ is now starting to release that she's going to realize she's going to get backlash. So listen to this. Katie Joy, please stop trying to control someone else. And listen, I don't want to pressure you. Are you kidding me? You just, wow. Chill out, please. Read the room without a crystal ball. I'm laughing my ass off right now. No one wants to hear from you, Katie. Your voice is annoying. I have. <laughs> Anytime I have talked about you recently, I don't know what to tell you other than I'm not going to be pressured really? and I appreciate you saying you don't want to pressure me, but I am not going to just hop on a live stream this exact minute. If you want to do it in an hour or two, whether it's on your channel or my channel, or if you want to go to it, if you know a neutral third party, I'd be fine with that. Katie, I honestly would like to have a conversation with you. It's too hard to have a conversation with KJ. <clears throat> JJ, re oh, JJ got in trouble. 
why add uh without a crystal ball why adding you so you can control a conversation again like you do with other creators lord go play with your family i think that's what you should do i can't wait for toddy to refile her lawsuit we were all hoping for that and it never happened because she toddy got what she wanted she wanted swanson and kj easily threw him under the bus claire bear ah ha ha she's incapable i guess the drama llama is on the loose eh? <laughs> i'm covering she won't we know she was part of the group that did. Everyone needs to chill or timeouts will happen. <laughs> Sue's not having it today. I only know you for your negative videos about me. Oh my God. Because I understand how some of my videos may be perceived Oopsie. as being negative. I don't think you watch my videos through because a lot of the times I actually do defend you and almost every video I have made about you. So um, there's nothing to control though, to the chat. What? She only reads thumbnails and jumps from there. Read the room again with a crystal ball. Claire says, I haven't lied about CPS. Like, what is she talking about? Wow. Then watch more videos and stop listening to your fans about what they say she said. Agreed. Mad respect for you, Amanda. Keeping it real and classy. Yeah, because I would have lost it on her by now. I would have blocked her. F and right. Uh, I didn't say you had lied about CPS. <laughs> That's the last time I'm addressing you directly. I have other people in the chat. I'm trying to be respectful to you because I, I respect everybody on this platform. I appreciate you coming here and wanting to try and talk to me. I don't want to hash this out with creator to live chat and I'm sorry I know it's probably annoying I keep stopping this but I just wanted to read all these comments Amanda Pants was actually defending you KJ stop with your disrespectful crap well Katie maybe take the time to really watch her content and see what it says this one says we were having an important conversation before you showed up and Amanda Pants was so she screwed it right up there crystal ball I'm actually a member of both your channel and this one and I and I there's honestly Never any talking about your parenting or your son, or I wouldn't be here just saying. Constructive criticism isn't hate. I'm talking to the chat. The chat isn't even talking about anything that you're talking about, so shut it. I give it as good as she's given it. I'm an adult. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Manda Pants, thank you for all the info. AJJ's hat. I'm not going to add you to the stream at this point. I've been no. on for an hour and a half and I was actually about to wrap up. So that's my invitation to you, Katie. If you want to sit down, I'm probably one of the few who can remain level headed and really ask you questions and not put you on the spot. Just like you can do the same to me. If you want to ask me questions, I'd be open to that 100%. So that, that's. I <laughs> Thank you for all the info. Why are you hacking this live? You are awesome, Amanda. And then again, she says, I'm talking to the chat. Katie, clear it up then. Show the receipts. Exactly. And this one says, well, Katie, we see the true you. So she got another super chat, which is great. This ain't your chat. Don't address us. We are here to support Amanda. You have your, I'm assuming, side or people. Up to you if you want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We are here to support Amanda. You have, oh yeah. I remember this version. The troll appears, emboldened and arrogant. Here's where she does the most damage to herself. Buckle up, booze. Then this, KJ's like, how can I show receipts? Um, on your channel. I appreciate your professionalism, at Amanda. Uh, All right, does anybody have any other questions? Oh, she got another one. Because I am... I am about to end the chat. I don't. KJ, what are you doing? You only care about yourself. So jealous. This person says with a super chat, <clears throat> I appreciate your perspective because I have had CPS at my door and it was over because nothing was wrong. Don't let it bother you. Every word is attention that is unnecessary. I couldn't agree more with you, Sarah. I don't have receipts. The case was closed. Wow. So you're just full blown lying as usual. Amanda, I appreciate the live stream and your time. Without a crystal ball, we don't want to see you, Katie. Is that too hard to understand? Let's just ignore her and go back to your video. This isn't the with this, Without a Crystal Ball show. 
mad respect and support to Amanda. A hundred percent. It isn't the W little show. Continue. I don't want you guys to get mad at Katie and I don't want Katie to feel that she is being pressured in my live stream. I'm not going to have that narrative going around. So, um, if anybody has questions in relation to CPS and how CPS works, please leave them down below. I'm going to give you guys like a minute or two, and then I am going to turn this off. This person says, you being in here defending yourself without knowing what was actually said shows me you might be guilty of lying. Actually, I totally agree with that too. She's always rude and disrespectful. Have never been to anyone, but I'm sick of her crap. I'm sure the Duggars, Westbrooks, et cetera, are too. Yeah, 100% KJ or KJ. JJ. Too many JJJJs. <laughs> Katie, this makes you look really bad. This proves how a lot of the people on the internet see you. This one says, just saying. Thanks for coming, everyone, and for being respectful. Case is only moving judges to Minnesota. Thank you for your expertise. I'm not being rude. I'm entering here. She is nuts. Wow. And thank you, everybody, like I said, for the super chats. I really appreciate that. Smile, everyone. Awesome job, Amanda. Thank you. Don't want to hear her. I stay away from her craziness about others. This one says, I'm good. I follow Katie and I follow you. I like fairness. I'm being respectful. I think you are too, Amanda. Amanda Pants, your chat is always open and fair to all. I've been, mo I have been honest about my experience with CP, CPS. Holy crap. She doesn't stop. Oh girl. I definitely have receipts because they mail you the closed case paperwork. Exactly. KJ says they accuse my husband of punching my son. She needs to go like, bye. They send mail to confirm the findings. I'm Claire Bear. We are on the same page. <clears throat> Amanda, well done for handling the chat, answering all the questions about CPS. Thank you, everyone, for the respectful chat. What happened with Creep Show? I'm new here. Uh, thank you for your professionalism, as always, Amanda. This one, oh, KJ, we had CPS in our home. They interviewed my husband and I and our nurses. K, we get it. Goodbye. God. Yeah, I understand how that's probably frustrating but it's not to be on the man of pants of, fault of the ball baby i do okay we're not going to no i i'm gonna leave this up it's fine it may take <clears> a little <throat> bit of the sheriff was here two days ago <laughs> I just got here. Am I able to watch from beginning later or will it be gone? Katie, Celsi refilling, refiling. Trust me. How many sock cans do you have, Krusty? Someone filed a seven page report against us, accusing me of medical abuse. Well, keep your shit offline then and keep your mouth shut. It's time for it to buffer, but I am about to close it out. Um, Katie, I really do want you to reach out to me because, and I don't want. Hopefully, in this interaction you have seen, I'm not here to target you or talk shit about you. This is how I always talk when I'm talking about you. I never said CPS wasn't at your house. Right. And I will tell you what I talked about if you don't want to watch this video back. I think a lot of us chatting are not caring or chatting about the CPS. <clears throat> we are talking about how you talk to people in general, Katie. Jay says, stop telling people that you're about to har self harm on Twitter then Katie. Ooh, that's a new one. Oh yeah. She did threaten uh, suicide. And then when someone called one of her subs called to, um, make sure she was okay. She blew the F up. Okay. Talk to you later. I don't have any socks. Okay. There's a video of you talking to Kyle saying that you do. I watched it. Amanda pants. You handled this. Well, thank you for answering our questions. No need to taunt her with salty or anything guys. Yeah, that probably shouldn't be. I reckon you might be right about that, Rachel. You are fine. <laughs> I, I, I get that. It's an hour and a half. You 
probably don't have the time or don't want to take the time to listen to it. She doesn't. That's fine. Um, I was just pointing out things since I have worked in CPS um, as an investigator. I have had questions on how you worded certain things about the closure of your case. But that is up to you. I put the offer out there. I'm a victim constantly. That's Katie. Okie dokie. Thank you. Still learning about channels and uploads. Vetter Crystal Ball, unblock her on Twitter. DM her. I'm answering questions to the chat. I'm not being the victim. <laughs> Holy crap. Yes, you are. She will, and then she will drag you. Exactly, Froggy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give her the time of day. Jay's like, you don't have any socks? Are you kidding? Joke of the day, I guess. I'm glad she's got JJ there. Alrighty, guys. I don't see any other questions rolling in. So although I'm sure people would love to continue to have this conversation, uh, I'm not going to continue to allow this. Be nice, everyone. Prove it, Krusty. Same old story, Claire says. Don't have socks account sock accounts. LOL. She told people to stop calling CPS on you. She So Amanda Pants told people to stop calling CPS on um, KJ. The closure was they came here, they did the interviews, and then we received a letter saying it was closed. So then how can you not show receipts then? They interviewed our nurse in the same day. Yes, we know that. You've already said this in the chat. How are you not being a victim? No socks? You have video showing your email with a sock account. Thank you. No, only 48 of them. <laughs> Love you, Amanda. You were handling this with a great deal of respect and humility. Don't troll, guys. No, nah, they won't troll. That's so KJ's job. To go on in my chat any longer. Uh, I'm not going to be pressured to allow people to say I allowed Katie to be bullied in my chat because that's not my intention. And she wasn't bullied. You've heard it all. You've seen it all in the chat. This will be up on replay. If anyone who makes it in replay gets this far, <clears throat> I don't have any socks. I fuck accounts. Right. KG, literally, nobody cares if CPS was at your house. Have a great day. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for, for your professionalism. I'm not pressuring anyone. Huh? What is she talking about? I hope everybody does have a good day after all of this. You were doing well, Amanda. Oh my God. For getting this far. I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. And everything is available. If anybody has any further questions that I missed or I didn't get to, feel free to reach out to me, whether that's in DMs or email. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a good rest of the day. Bye. I know there is nothing worse than being stuck. Yeah, you're doing well. Um, it's your channel, Amanda. Nice to meet you all in chat. Have a lovely evening. Rachel says I'm not bullying. Uh, remember to spread love. Props. Thanks, Amanda Pants. Quite the discussion, Ender. Good job at keeping it professional, Amanda Pants. Jay's like, no one is trolling. Sue M. Katie is in here going at Amanda. That is trolling. I have to agree with you. Bye, everyone. Even KJ. <laughs> Reach out to me via email. Yeah, because you have her blocks on everything else. I wouldn't even bother. I hope Amanda didn't. There's no point. I am stating a fact. Salt will refile in Minnesota. I'm sorry, honey, but he didn't. Thanks, Amanda. Amanda, thank you. All right, so that was that. Oh, sorry I said that R word. It's kind of slipped out. My bad. It's still hard to some other words not saying. Not really other, well, there's a couple words that people shouldn't say. And sometimes I do do that. And the R one is the one that does slip sometimes with me. I'll either catch myself, well, I will always right after. And then it's like, crap, you're not supposed to say that. So much stuff you're not supposed to say nowadays. It's kind of hard to keep track. And I apologize if I upset anyone. I'm sorry. I didn't, I really didn't mean to say it. Um, all right. So that'll be it for the videos for today. I will be live 
on Don's channel at eight o'clock my time, so Eastern time tonight. Um, we're doing, um, I don't know, he's got all these games for us to play. Last time it was like, uh, never ever would I blah, blah, blah. And like this one, I think he's picking the horror one. Um, the murder, uh, what is it? I don't know what the heck it's called. Hold on, let me see. And I probably moved it. Yes, I did. It was one about, um, it's like crime. It's a crime one. I'm a crime junkie. So I was like, yes, let's do that one. And so we'll be doing that tonight at eight. Here in the lawnmower. I'm telling you, my my uh, next door neighbor, like I can see her house in my backyard. She mows her lawn every day. I don't know how she does it. It drives me nuts. She works for that weed eater, weed man. She works for weed man, so she's very particular. <laughs> my son and I just think it's funny. It's every single day. I realize grass grows that like quick, but oh my gosh, that would drive me nuts. All right, Kale, shut up. You guys have a great night and I hope you enjoy the video and I will link her video in my description. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So have a great night and I'll see you guys over at Dom's at eight o'clock. Bye.